It was 1987. We had just graduated from college. We had no prospects. I was a waiter, Sean was a caddy, and Kurt delivered pizzas. We got a van for 300 bucks and also bought a tent and a video camera. In September, we hit the road with no plan whatsoever. We were like a rock band with no gigs, no groupies, and no ganj. Welcome to the Trip Tapes. The hunt for Britt Burns, as part of the context, was about two or three months into the trip. And, you know, we had a lot of great times on the trip, but I think by that point, we were getting kind of bored. We slept out all night, we froze our asses off, and we were just looking for something to do. And Kirk came up with this great idea to go track down Britt Burns. I grew up in Chicago like Sean, and in Chicago, you either like the White Sox or you like the Cubs. My family is from the South Side, so my family liked the White Sox. I grew up a White Sox fan. That's what I, I listen to them every night. I can remember my dad listening to them on the radio outside on, on Saturday afternoons. In high school, there was a pitcher um, by the name of Britt Burns. I grew up in Cleveland and loved the Indians and ne had never heard of Britt Burns. I think he was in the major leagues. I think he might have been minor leagues mostly, but he was pulled up and I guess Kurt was a fan of his. The, the best part of this whole thing was we get to Birmingham and Kurt announces that his childhood hero, Britt Burns, grew up there and we're going to spend the days looking for him. The, the sad thing about Britt was that he had this degenerative condition in his hip and eventually he had was forced to retire at a very young age. I think he only pitched until he was 26. Um, and after that, no one knew what happened to Britt Burns. So on our trip, we decided to find out what happened to Britt Burns. December 8, 1987, the year of our Lord. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Kurt? We're in Birmingham, Alabama, searching on this gloomy and rainy day for Britt Burns. I'm sorry, searching for who? Britt Burns, my favorite base, White Sox baseball player of all time. Left-handed pitcher. Sean, any stats on Britt we should know about? this high school that we're at right now. Uh, and what high school are we at? Ensley High School. We've driven around this neighborhood for, for quite a bit now, and it's kind of a depraved and uh, run down. All right, good luck, man. Thank you. <laughs> A lot of people say he's one of the most patriotic boys I've ever met. He's staying right in that class window there. He pledges allegiance to the flag and to the country he loves so much. Ensley High School. God's help, but come back through those doors. The address, Britt Burns. Do you guys know who Britt Burns is? Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he play at this high school? No, no, no. no. We heard Enz. We heard Enz. In an hour, Britt Burns would have liked to have gone to this school. Many a day, he would have come through those doors. And many a day he would have pledged his allegiance to that flag, but he didn't go to the school. Thanks for a great Brit Burns day. Coming right on out of Ensley. No Pete, time. gotta no be a special no feeling time. for you. No time. Coming out of your favorite hero's high school, not that he went to, but probably that he'd seen once in his life. Perhaps he played this team, Kurt. Gotta be a special feeling for you. Kurt, can you give us some words on this special day, Britt Burns Day? The search is becoming a little more complicated. It was now fun I seeing his coach has transferred to a new high school. It was fun seeing Ensley, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very nice seeing Ensley, meeting the children, the children, the students here. What a great place. Is that a rip in your butt? Yep. To Huffman High, Merry Xmas. We were told that this may be the home, the high school, of the great Britt Burns. Pops, and there's so the flag Britt used to pledge his allegiance to. Most patriotic ball player ever in the country. Huh, Pete? Yep. Come to 
close on the whole impeach man. Interviews a Huffton student, see what he knows about Brit. Here with a young student from uh, Huffman High School. And what year are you? Uh, freshman. He's a freshman. Your name? Taylor Green. Taylor Green. Taylor, do you know who Britt Burns is? No, sir. No, sir. He played high school baseball here. Never heard of him. Yeah. Have you always lived in Birmingham? No. Oh, never heard of Britt Burns. Britt Burns. This guy right there? Point him out, Pete. Yeah. The tallest guy there. Yeah. Look at that face. Determined, but sensitive. Caring, but hardened. Did his wife go to school here also? High school, that they know each other since high school? Someone told us any of high school. No, that's what I said. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Our final What are you doing? He's still probably, probably nary a ball went over that fence right there when he was pitching. Yeah, maybe the There's the mound. Right there. Coach is uh, a coach of football? Yeah. And um, how well did you know Britt Burns? Well, I knew him pretty well, especially as an athlete here. I didn't actually coach him in any particular sport, but uh, he was quite a standout in high school. Most definitely. Did he play anything besides baseball? No, he, uh, he tried to play a little bit of basketball. You know, he had that problem with his hips. Did he live around Birmingham as far as you know? The last I heard of him, he came to our booster club meeting in, uh, in August. To explain how well he did it. Coach English? Yeah. Uh, in a baseball pro. Uh, just to and of course, he was also a fine person. What did he leave? He left this past year. He still coaching that? He yeah, he's still coaching that. All right, thank you very much. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Okay. I had a Huffman High. Fine school. The kids were a little shy. Didn't know much about Brit. They weren't bad looking. More than one group on the road after Brit Burns. Cool. Kurt, what brings us to you at Trustville? We're here to talk to uh, Coach Phil English, English, the uh, legendary coach of uh, Huffman High School, has been transferred to Hewitt Trustville. The field that Huffman's named after he Phil English. Ceremoniously fired from the other place. Well, well there's something. You know, we have something about. We don't, don't need to get into that on film, Sean. Get, okay. Try to keep Brit Burns Day beautiful. Jeez. Don't bring the scum and mud in there. Yeah, You're I'm so fond of. Come on, Sean. Get your head out of Throw the gutter. The stone. Right. Get out. Get out on Brit Burn Day if you're going to be that way. Where's Callahan, man? Right. There he is. Get your head out of the gutter and get it up in the clouds. Get it up keep there with the, the Brit Burns keep Day. Keep the faith on. Get some of this crap out of my you don't mind if we film it then. No, go ahead. We're here with uh, Coach Phil English of, at uh, Hewitt Tusville High School. And um, you were Britt Burns' coach when he was yes, in high school. I was. Hoffman. Right. And um, we understand he was a spectacular ball player at uh, Huffman. I'll tell you, the only. Of course, I'm at this school for the first year. I was at Huffman for 19 years. The only game Britt ever lost was a one to nothing. Uh, game to this school where it is now. His, uh, his hips had always been a problem. He grew so fast when he was in high school that um, there's a femur bone in your leg and a femur head. You know more about what I'm talking about. But the socket that it fits in, the socket grew faster than the femur head. And what happened to him the last year was that he had pounded that cartilage on top of that femur head so much that there was no more cartilage in there and it was bone on bone and very painful. Sawed the bone here, twisted the femur head, reconnected it where he had good cartilage. And he's got good movement now, got good cartilage. But the doctor told him if he ever wore this out, he would, the next one would be an artificial hip. What would you say was his finest moment? <clears throat> Lord, he had so many. One game, he struck out 22 players. He struck out every out, 22 out of 21. And How fast was he throwing? I know Britt threw one of his games his senior year and threw one fastball under 90 miles an hour. How much he doing now, as far as you know? All right, Britt is in the process of building himself a home, but he's having fun doing that, and, and he's planning on uh, 
getting into some type of instruction. In fact, the people in this community have offered him a plot of ground. So he's well known in the community. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, do you know who Britt Burns is? No, sir. No, sir. But now he has a family. But he's a healthy. He's got a baby now, yeah. just as proud of it as he can be. And, a horrible and his wife, Judy, live down south of Birmingham, which is a, a suburb, and that's where he's building right now. Now the Brit Burns story takes us to Phillip 66. Kurt, what's the status we're at now in the search of Brit Burns? We just talked to Coach English, and he, I mean, generously gave us both his phone number and Brit's. And um, we're going to give him a call right now, see if we can set up a little something. All right, get on the line. Huh? Yes, I won't be able to concentrate. Up. I will not be able to concentrate Speak with up. you there. Come on! Dang, watch my fingers. Peterman? Pete won't let us in, man. He says he won't feel a concentrate if we're in there. Yeah, Bogart. Another stop on the long journey to BB Land, Spring Hill, I expect that's Hill. supposed to be. Springville Road Library? Yeah. Kirby, what brings us here? Uh, Kevin, we thought it would be a good idea to do a little research on Brit before we went and talked to him, actually, just to refresh our memories on his tremendous career All with the right. White Sox. And nobody was home when you called the first yeah, time, correct? Yeah, called and no one was home. All right, go get him. Thanks, Tiger. Good luck, man. Thanks, Tiger. What's with the hole in the pants? Get to Britt Burns. No answer again. Coming to a bit of a stance late in the Britt Burns day. Well, I, like I've said off, never say never. We're going to get to him, believe me. God bless you, son. Day two in the Brit Burns search. We're here at Crystal. We're outside south of Birmingham. I got a hold of Brit. Uh -huh. I said, man, I have to speak to Brit Burns. I knew it was him on the other, on the other side. And I could hear a kid wailing in the background. Uh -huh. And uh, he didn't sound overly enthusiastic. Then again, he didn't sound like he did. He, you know, he was trying to blow me off. He gave me his mobile phone number and told me to call him around noon today. And it is noon, as you can see. It is about 10 to. I want to be a little early. All right. Get, good luck, man. Thank you. Hi. You have to pick the Brit Burns? Thank you. Hello, Brit. This is Kurt Peterson. I talked to you last night. And um, I was wondering, you know, if we could get together sometime this afternoon. Lake Tritty. OK. I think I've been touched by the Lord. Was he nice to you? Yeah, he was very nice. We're, we're going to meet him at his new home, it sounds like. Wow. We're exactly we're right where we should be. Uh, what time are we going to meet him? Um, let's get directions. He said uh, right now. I'm Good work, excited, Kurt. Though. I'm excited. Britt Burns Day coming to a head. Thanks to Kurt Peterson, the hole in his pants. Like a lot of things on the trip, the lead up was everything. Because we got there and when you watch the interview, you can't even hear Britt Burns. I was standing about 20 feet away with the camera. You can't hear anything. So hilarious that we spent three days looking for him, but certainly the search was what it was all about. I gotta say, it was one of the highlights of my of the trip for sure, maybe thinking back one of the highlights of my life to be meeting a childhood uh, hero, right? A, a baseball player who you'd admired um, as an extraordinary you know, player for your favorite team. And so we found him, he was gracious, he was kind, he spent time with us uh, and while well, he was building his house. And um, he, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was a great moment for me at least. Um, and you know, unlike Bob Dylan, we actually found Britt Burns. I'm not the one you won't be I'm not the one you need See your 